So we're going to talk about the perfect player or the perfect players, should I say. We've got a perfect player in each position on the pitch in Football Manager. We've got one player at each team in the Norwegian League, excluding two teams. Apologies to Mulder and Bodo Glimt. The media expected them to be the top two, but you've missed out. We've got 14 perfect players. We've got 30 seasons. We've got frozen attributes. Let's go and see what position's best, shall we? So here we go. We've got 200 out of 200, of course. And it's perfect right midfielder over here for Rosenborg. 20s across the board. We've got the perfect every single position. Goalkeeper all the way through to striker. One in each team. However, if we have a quick look at the attribute details, we've got one for versatility, which means it'll be very difficult for these players to retrain in a different position because I'm expecting the AI to want to retrain some of these in specific positions to suit their formations because they're going to want to build a team around these players, right? You have the perfect right back, they're going to play at right back. If you don't play a right back, you're going to retrain them to play right wing back or whatever. So that's it. That's, that's the top and bottom of this intro. We're going to jump through. We've got 30 years until these guys have permanent transfers through to Al Nasser in Saudi Arabia and we're going to see who does better. There we go. In terms of the first season, it was Viking that won the league and it was the perfect striker at Viking who scored 26 in 28, taking the crown. Fair play to them. Now, of course, what I've done is I've put a note in on every single team that has got a perfect player so you guys can see which teams have a perfect player. We're going to be expecting some European trophies as well throughout this experiment. We're going to see teams go down and we're going to see teams go up. Over the course of the experiment, I'm expecting all these teams to stay up with these players. Jerv have gone down. That's probably because they've got an inferior squad. Molder are probably going to go down at some point. We will see. So we've got 30 years to get through. So we're not going to jump in through it every single season because that would be madness. The first five years is going to be swept up in a heartbeat. As we see, Norway, 2020, uh, 21st in the Norwegian League, and the Norwegian national team is 27th. Remember those numbers, gang? We're going to be back in 2026 when the World Cup has been and gone in 2026. And the Euros, Norway should, in theory, have won both tournaments. You'd expect so. Look at this, though. Caps and goals all across the board. Perfect right midfielder. He can actually play central midfielder and attacking right midfielder. So the versatility of one hasn't done much. Perfect left midfielder has been retrained as a winger. He's now a natural. Perfect right wing back is now a right midfielder. <clears throat> so four more years are in the books. And we've got, after Viking one, we had Rosenborg, Viking, Valerenga and Rosenborg. So we are sticking with it. Perfect central attacking midfielder has got 27 goals in this most recent season. Been retrained as a... Right winger, 128, 152. He's playing pretty well for them, isn't he? They're old Valerenga. And they have won a league title. In terms of the award winners, player of the year. He's been the perfect right wing back for Christiansen. 16 assists, 11 goals. He's playing midfield right. And the perfect right midfielder. So, the, so both players are playing on the right of midfield, which is very weird for the player of the year to have won. And it's, again, it's the same too for play, uh, players player of the year. Top goal scorer, perfect striker with two and perfect left winger for Tromso with three. How about that then? He's got 33 and 45 for Norway. And if we have a look at international caps, we see 66 for the goalkeeper, 65 for the centre-back with nine goals. Looking at goals, we've got 56 for the perfect right midfielder. Norway are absolutely dominating. There's no way they haven't won the Euros and World Cup. I apologise for that joke. I do not apologise for that joke. I stand by it. First... Current world ranking of first, understandably. We didn't even look at the league, or you might have done. Eighth. Up in eighth. Fair play to them. Norway up in first. Of course, they won it in 2024. And they won the World Cup in 2026. Erling Haaland is still in the squad. 86 goals in 73 caps. Wow. Perfect right back Martin Odegaard and perfect centre back scored in a 3-1 win against France in the final. The England 4-0. Erling Haaland grabbing a goal there. He beat Sudan 16-0. Erling Haaland got five. Perfect right wing back got three. He got a hat-trick. Six, six goals and 11 caps. Wow. And in the Euros, in the final, they beat Germany 6-0. Andrew Schedelup, his only goal for his country. Well, 
there we go then so norway absolutely dominating in terms of norwegian premier division how are they doing in europe of course the tournament is currently going on because we are mid-season because the norwegian season runs from like february to november rosenborg were runner-up in the europa league against arsenal in the most recent season they lost four nil to arsenal in the final there that's disappointing isn't it disappointing but only five years in there's a long way to go and i'm thinking with the rise in the reputation of the league rising international team norway's going to be a far more appealing place to play your football going forward so we're going to go jump through another five years now to 2032 see how we're getting on it's still eighth the norwegian league is still in eighth and we've still got teams who have got a perfect player ham cam for example the perfect center back cannot keep them in the division despite playing pretty well for a team that is losing a hell of a lot it's been rosenborg and valerenga who are taking the cake is the perfect right midfielder and where is he playing he is playing on the right then the midfield a little bit but he's playing on the right a 4-4-2 for rosenborg very interesting indeed norway is still first hans eric odegaard looks very scary doesn't he what a picture and we've had another world cup in 2030 and we've had another two euros in 2020 and 2032 the golden boot was won by a greek player giannis skiathesis uh, in the most recent tournament erling Haaland won it in 2024 for midfielder in 2028 well a play look at the world cup then Again, yet yeah, beating... Wow, Erling Haaland got 14 and 7. He's got 113 and 108 caps. Erling Haaland, despite a team of full perfect players, is still managing to break into the Norway squad and play. 102 in 122. The perfect right midfielder. Bloody hell, he's doing well. 77 in 105 for the perfect striker. That's actually quite a rubbish return for the perfect player, isn't it? Left, left winger's got 98 in 100. Nearly a goal a game. Unfortunately, still in eighth. He's been in eighth since we were last here. The Conference League. No one has been in it from Norway and got to the final. I'd like to think that's probably because no one's in it. Anyone in it? Sandgiford and Viking are. Of course, okay. Yeah, two teams are. Fine. And we've had nothing. Rosenborg, still only the, the only runner up. Tottenham can run up twice. A very Spurs, eh? A very Spurs. And nothing in the Champions League. Didn't expect anything in the Champions League, to be fair. Remember, did won three in a row, but. Did not expect anything in the Champions League. So, looking over the league, as you can see, the past winners has just been Rosenborg and Valerenga, who are sort of swapping it around. Viking sort of slipping in there. So these perfect players haven't managed to really elevate the league much past eighth position. But we've, we've got time. We've got plenty of time. We are going to go through 10 more years at this point. 10-year jump. 2042. See what's happening. Well, it's been Rosenborg all the way, hasn't it? Rosenborg are absolutely dominating. What play do they have? It's the perfect right midfielder, of course. Perfect right midfielder who can now play in a whole host of positions. Why he can play at centre-back, I don't know. But he's doing pretty well over his career. That's, made, gonna make me, that's making me want to go and have a look at this. So the perfect right midfielder, as you've seen, 159 goals in 214 caps for Norway. Has he retired from international football, interestingly? He did in 2040. In 2040, so Norway, they've only got the perfect left midfielder at 40 years old. Everyone else is a new gen. As you can see, the perfect camera has been retrained a bit, as has the left midfielder. Centre midfielder can now play centre back and defensive mid. Right winger, again, sort of very similar, like central attacking midfield role and the central midfield role. Same with the left winger. The right back can also play centre back. The left back can play right midfield or centre back. The right wing back can play all over the shop here. As can the left wing back. Goalkeeper, speaking of the goalkeeper at Arsland, not conceding many goals. They actually finished second in the most recent season with a goal difference of just 18. Oh, they did actually concede more than Rosenborg. Fair enough. The Norwegian League is currently sixth and the national team is still first. I'm sure they've just been on a tear. Four World Cups in a row, five Euros in a row. To be expected, right? To be expected. You're not going to be... Oh. World Cup was won by Germany in 2042, most recently. That's because all of those players will have retired from international football, apart from the perfect left midfielder. So, yeah. Back to the league then. We are currently sixth. We were fifth last season, but we are currently sixth. Now, in terms of European success, we've got teams in the Conference League, teams in the Europa League, teams in the Champions League. That's got more qualification spots, I'm sure it has. Hasn't it not? We'll see. Have a look at the Conference League then. Still no one's won it. 
Still, no one's won it, which is disappointing, really. Valerenga came runner-up to Bilbao in 2038. And the current European champions are Rosenborg. You couldn't make it up. He won 2-0. The perfect round midfield. They got sent off after 82 minutes. Bloody hell. So, in terms of the senior squad for Rosenborg, they do have... Look at this guy. He's on 19.5 grand a week. A 183 current ability. £19,500 a week. I, I, I've got no words. How have they, they managed to swing that? They've got some great players as well. A lot of players in the 150s and 140s moving into the 150s. They're on a lot of, not on a lot of wages. The goalkeeper here on 110, very good goalkeeper. You've got Herbert Van Moll, which is one of the best regen names I think I've ever heard. Herbert Van Moll, coming to an experiment near you soon. And make the note of this. You've got some very good players of Rosenborg, and they finally won a European trophy. They're dominating the, the Norwegian league. Uh, look, 18 points. Let's have a quick look back in the stages, going back to the seasons. 10 points to beat Valerenga by there. 19 points, no, not 19 points, 21 points. Sleep deprivation is a killer. It's voluntary as well. Someone else's voluntary. -ness. It's a newborn baby. Which is why I look so tired, ladies and gentlemen. That's an aside to Rosenborg. 14 points, 6 points, the closest it was, it's been for a good few years. 8 points, 19. I mean, they lost it by 10 points here in 20... 35, so seven years ago. They've just been on an absolute tear of Rosenborg. Absolutely dominating. And they've won a European trophy. I can't see anyone doing much more than that. Can Norway break into the top five? They were fifth. Can they break into the top five? We've got two more stops. We've got 10 more years to go. So we're going to jump 10 years now, but then we've simmed a bit further. And we're going to see how the Norwegian League copes once all these players disappear. Let's go to 2052, just as these players are about to leave. I've actually come to 2051, and I'll tell you why. Because their contract expires on the 1st of the 7th, middle of the season in Norway. Um, when I made the, I'm making, I'm making the same sort of baseline contract, and I forgot that the Norwegian league was a little bit different. Just This has just caught my eye. 220 goals in 207 appearances for the perfect left winger. That is unbelievable. I mean, wowzers. When did he retire? 2041. So he didn't last much longer. Well, speaking of Norway, they're still in first. Norway are still in first. Sergio Jackson is their key man. Ha Hart Hoglund Talgo. God, Norway's got some good names, hasn't it? Hart Hoglund Talgo. What a name. £129 million from Borussia Dortmund 13 years ago. As a youngster, he'd have got to 178, no messing. They've got a lot of good players. Still first, as I say, in the world rankings, but they've not won an international tournament for a couple of tournaments. Well, they haven't won the Euros. They haven't won the World Cup either for three tournaments. So the golden generation of Norway has well and truly gone. Sad times for Norway, but still exciting times for this experiment. Look at the perfect left midfielder as well. Look how many positions he can now play in. Talk about Billy Versatile. Only plays left midfield. Why has he been trained in all those different positions? Wing back right, similar sort of thing. And he does play across the board. Plays in the right midfield as, as a, more often than not. The Premier Division then for Norway is up in third. They've only gone and bloody done it. And of course it's Rosenborg and Valerenga who have done the business. Well... The perfect central attacking midfielder for Valerenga has had quite the career. And for Rosenborg, I, I can't even see their play. I'm going to have to go into the actual, oh, their actual uh, squad. Is he gone? He's gone. Why is he gone? Vinicius Junior's in charge. I wasn't expecting that. So Rosenborg have won the league last season, but their player has gone. Must have just retired somehow. It can happen. It can happen. Over the looking of the Conference League, then we do have a winner. We have Sarpsborg in 2044-45. Let me just take a second to thank whoever it was in the comments to say, put a note on the teams in the league that you're looking at. Because then we can see at a snapshot in this big massive list. I did not know that, which might be obvious because I'd never done it. But if I did know that and I wasn't doing it for you guys and myself to make it easier, what a tit. But look at that. 
just jumps out at you. Sarpsborg, bang. You can all see there's now no other ambiguity. None of the Norwegian teams have got a trophy. Europa League, nothing at all since Valerenga came runner-up. And the Champions League, well then. After Rosenborg won it, Valerenga have gone and beaten Bayern Munich. And then in a repeat of that final, I mean, he got their revenge. Back-to-back -back Champions League finals for Valerenga and Bayern Munich. And they've got a good squad. They've got a good squad indeed. So it wasn't shared around as much as I potentially hoped. Mulder is still in the top flight. Anyone in the second tier? Odd. And Hamcam have just come back up as winners. It's, they're not doing the best. They're not doing the best. But the Norwegian League is third in terms of competition reputation. But they've not won that many European trophies. So it does kind of surprise me as to why. Maybe they're attracting high quality players. Let's see another top view here. We're going to do current ability. This is the Norwegian Premier Division I've just searched through. So we've got quite a lot of players who have got 180s, 170s, 160s. Plenty in the 150s. These are all for Valerenga and Rosenborg, of course. It's just absolutely... Look at the state of it. And like as you move down, you start to get a few more teams. But yeah, a lot. A lot of players who are in the 150s, 160s, which is actually very good. Very good indeed. Player of the year then. So it's been won pretty much religiously by teams in the Norwegian league. Kiet Timan for Bayern Munich snuck in there, but it's otherwise it's just been perfect cam, perfect right wing back, perfect right midfielder. He has retired. As you can see, he's gone. I wonder why that was. Injury? That can happen. But he's, he's won the most, the perfect right midfielder. You can just see how many he's bloody won. The golden ball. That's been shared around a little bit differently. Elias Mora has won it the most recent season. 48 appearances. I thought I said 48 goals. Um, to be honest, World, World Golden Ball has not been won by anyone of our perfect players. Football of the Year, once again, pretty much dominated all the way through. Erling Haaland snuck in, snuck in with a few, as is Kylian Mbappe. We've got one up here for Thanos Papazoglu. That's about it. We're going to just jump through and just see how the Norwegian League fares. Now all these players will have gone. So we'll jump straight through to that before we round this off. Uh, we're in 2063 then, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, all the players are gone. The Norwegian Premier Division then is currently in fourth. It has maintained itself up there. And again, it's been Valoenga and Rosenborg in the last 10 or 11 years. Norway are now down in sixth. They're now down in sixth in terms of competitions. They've not won an international tournament since they had all those amazing players. As you can see, it's the usual suspects, and it's Valerenga, who have still got an absolute killer squad. So we're going to have a quick look over the Conference League. Viking came runner-up, but nothing, no winner since Sarpsborg. Bill Bow came runner-up a hell of a lot of that, didn't he, in the Europa League? Nothing in the Europa League, and nothing in the Champions League. Valerenga came runner-up to Atletico Madrid. Bayern Munich have won a lot, haven't they, in recent times? But that's it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect player at each club. And yeah, it turned out that the perfect right midfielder, not the perfect right winger, the perfect right midfielder seems to be the best player throughout the entire experiment. Well, I hope you've had a good time watching it. I've had quite a good time making this one. It was a lot of fun. I had to go back and re-sim re this a couple of times because there was errors in my database creation. As I say, sleep deprivation is a bit of a killer please do leave a comment down below of anything that i might have missed or anything you think i should have covered any ideas for future experiments of course again in the comments down below and we've just hit at the time of recording 3,000 subscribers so thank you very much to everyone who subscribed if you haven't already please do lots more coming on the channel lots more already there but yeah 3,000 subscribers at this point when my goal um internally was i wanted to get to a thousand subscribers at some point this year and i had a date in mind which was the birth of my baby boy and he's now 18 days old at the time of recording, and I've just hit 3,000 subscribers. So it's very humbling, so thank you very much. Thank you for listening to this waffle at the end. Just a bit of an outpour of my appreciation for everyone who's watched, liked, subscribed, and commented through the last year and a bit. And here's to many more videos of me waffling and rambling about and being a tit. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Come back soon. Stay on the channel and watch this. Best for viewer video, according to the YouTube algorithm. Take care, yourselves, gang. I'll see you soon.